Well, tonight we wrap up our week long series of reports profiling the five candidates hoping to be Idaho's next governor. Two Democrats and three Republicans are seeking their party's nomination. Congressman Raul Labrador is hoping to end his long commutes to Washington, but has no plans to get out of politics. Here's Dee Sarton. For me, my home is kind of my center of peace. Raul Labrador invited us to his home for this interview. For the past seven years as congressman in Idaho's first district, he's worn a much traveled path between Washington, D.C. and Eagle, Idaho to spend weekends with his wife and five kids. We're going to be grandparents here in two months, and I'm super excited about that. So I'm, I'm excited to be able to serve the people of Idaho because I love serving the people of Idaho. I love public service. But at the same time, I'm going to be able to do it closer to home. Being governor, he says, would be the best of both worlds. And he believes his conservative approach to government is needed back home as much as in the nation's capital. Is Idaho as conservative as you are? Idaho is as conservative as we are, as I am. Idaho is, the legislature is not as conservative as I am. But Labrador thinks he can inspire Republican lawmakers to a more conservative bent with ideas like these. I have a plan that I call the 555 plan. I want to have 5% uh, income tax, 5% corporate tax, and 5% sales tax. I want to reduce all of our taxes. I want to make sure that we broaden the base. We have a lot of exemptions in the tax codes where the government has picked winners and losers and has decided that one company is going to get an exemption and the other company is not going to get it. I want to get rid of all those exemptions. I want the local mom and pop shop to be treated the same as the big corporation that we want to attract to Idaho. I, as a governor, I'm going to go to California. I'm going to go to all the different states that are now struggling with really high taxes. I'm going to say, welcome to Idaho. We're open for business. Labrador says his economic plan relates directly to his goals for education. Many people in government keep, keep bragging about how Idaho is growing at the fastest rate. But the reality is that, yes, we're growing at the fastest rate of any of those states. But we also have a kind of a mid-level economy. We have our GDP is too low. So if we grow businesses and we grow individuals and families are, are making more money, there's going to be more money in the budget for education, educational opportunities for the entire state. And when it comes to health care. Well, the, the, the policy is pretty simple. What, what you need to do, do is have more competition, number one. You, you need to make sure that, that health insurance is affordable for families. And one of the ways you do that is by making sure that, that the government is not mandating what a health insurance plan has to have. If you remember before Obamacare, Idaho had the lowest health insurance premiums of any of the states in the United States. And the reason we had the lowest health insurance premiums is because we had the least amount of regulation of any of the states in the union. You know, this is the moment. As you work through Labrador's ideas and conservative philosophy, he consistently brings it all back to this family. I want every one of my kids to be able to come back to Idaho after college to get in to have great, wonderful opportunities to know that there's high paying jobs and that they can raise their families and they can be very successful. And I want that for every person in Idaho. Dee Sarton, Idaho's News Channel 7.